Pat and Linda brought the car in, there really wasn't much of a direction from them. They just said, build a cool car. And it was my idea to cut the top off. They liked that idea. What's up guys, here at Foos Design today uh, on the Continental. Part of this project is we're making it a roadster, so it's not going to have a top. Um, Chip chopped it for us. Uh, what I ended up doing today, uh, we had some excess material here, um, and I'm just kind of cutting it off, sanding it down, prepping the metal. That way he can come in here and design, you know, his little cap here for the windshield. Uh, he's going to make out of metal. Uh, also, like I said, cleaning up all the rust, that way he can weld to this and kind of do his thing. Um, we've got the windshield here. We also have this little section where the pillars of the roof would come up. Um, we had some excess material there as well. So I just brought that down nice and streamlined, kind of match all the contours and the flow of the car. Yeah, and the way this you know, is different than the original Continental uh, is actually a lot of factors that Chip put into it. Uh, aside from the fact that it's a Roadster now, it's not going to have a top. Um, we changed some of the body lines like you can see here. Um, Cody, one of the fabricators, brought this line in to match the fender well. That way it kind of flows better. Uh, up front, Chip actually had uh, an idea to drop the headlights, bring them back, and he did that. So the headlights are lower than the original Continental. They're pulled back. You've got this line here that flows into the fact that it's now going to be a Roadster, it's not going to have a top, so it's going to have a real streamlined look. And the further you come back, he actually made this metal here, bent these fender wells up to match this line a little better to give it that look. And the further we come back, he uh, tucked this upper portion of the rear bumper that's actually the exhaust outlets, the exhaust tips, and brought that in a little bit tighter. Uh, you've got your spare tire kind of cover here in the deck lid that he also dropped down. So if you're looking at it from the side, from the back, from the front, everything's real streamlined, real low, and all the lines kind of match and flow together. Today what I'm doing, like I said, I'm just kind of sanding off all the, all the years of buildup, the paint, giving it kind of a clean canvas to work with. Um, cut this line here to kind of match the radius of this windshield frame, uh, as well as back here, just bringing everything down real low, matching all the profiles. That way Chip can come in, design, weld, and, and do what he has to do. Here at Foos Design, working on headers for the 56 Continental. Um, this is kind of a cool little design we came up with. This is similar location of where the stock headers were, but we got a different shape. Uh, these are the valve covers, original valve covers off the Continental. 
And then right now I'm just kind of working on these end caps. So we made this little wood buck uh, to kind of simulate the shape that we wanted to cap these things off. And then between working on, between the pull max and a little hammer dolly and this little buck we came up with, this is kind of the style that we're going with. So this one still needs a little bit of fitment work, but we'll get that on there, weld it up, and uh, put it back on the car. See how it looks. This is just flat metal, and then we rolled it through this, uh, these pull max dies, and that kind of gives you the, the rounded surface there. And so now we're just kind of tuning up, it's a little wavy. This is just to get like the initial shape going. So these these like these roundover dies. So there's like there's a positive and a negative on it, right? And so when these things come up, it smushes the metal and gives it that rollover shape. So if you look at it straight on, you can see it's like a little it's a little out of whack. So that's where you go back and do a little hammer dolly work. But that gives it like the basic roundover shape that we're trying to start with. But yeah, this thing's super cool. You just got to be careful. You know, watch your digits in there and make sure you don't get this thing freaking going all crazy. To get it like perfect, it'll it'll be a while. Plus then when we weld it, we're sanding all the welds down. And so I mean, it's got to be pretty perfect when we get it done. But yeah, we're like 20 minutes into this one, so. We want to get this thing to sit, you know, flat. So right now, see, it's like it's kind of uneven. So we got to get it flattened out so it, you know, looks right when we put it on the part. This is a, a full. MagnaFlow kit. They gave us all the all the tubes for the headers, all the tubes to run the full exhaust system, the mufflers, the resonators, uh, pretty much everything that comes from the. We have to do some like trimming and fitting to fit the car, but the whole kit came from MagnaFlow. MagnaFlow basically supplied everything. Yeah, pretty much everything I've been using for the entire exhaust system from headers, resonators, mufflers, the X-Mod is what we used on this one. Yeah, it's pretty much the full MagnaFlow system. Thanks, MagnaFlow.